Conservation Volunteer of the Year. A wise man once said, wisdom is knowing what to do next, virtue is doing. Our next recipient is just such an individual, applying hard work and dedication to cleaning up local bayous. Those who know him best are certain that rarely does a volunteer demonstrate the level of energy and stubborn determination of the kind they see in their friend, Nathaniel Plum. Nathaniel enjoys exploring the streams nearest to his Baton Rouge home in his canoe and kayak. But one day, as he attempted to take a paddle down Bayou Fountain, what he discovered was a potentially beautiful natural waterway that was rendered literally impassable by tons and tons of litter and debris, four miles of it. Nathaniel recognized what he had to do, and he did. Nathaniel went to work with hand tools, a portable winch, and a makeshift barge that he fashioned by binding two canoes together and hauled out litter by the ton. He devoted literally all of his spare time to this effort, spending countless hours and days on and in the bayou, sometimes with the help of friends, but quite often alone. Every kind of garbage imaginable was collected and hauled away, from household appliances and old tires to building materials and portable toilets. And tangled up in all that mess were fallen trees and logs, so many logs. When Nathaniel learned that Bayou Fountain wasn't the only Baton Rouge stream in need of attention, he formed a local grassroots organization called Paddle BR, with the mission to improve paddling opportunities on Baton Rouge's bayous and streams by advocating for more public access points, creating public awareness of the issues, and of course, cleaning up the lift. He calls his group's cleanup effort Project Clearwater, and he invites his members to participate in the game he jokingly calls Chase the Flotsam. He maintains a website for the group where visitors will find an entertaining blog and an invitation to participate in group cleanups. Unfortunately, Nathaniel knows only too well that the next big rain will deliver more trash to the bayou. He works so hard to keep clean. Asked how he keeps from becoming disheartened, he says, some people get discouraged by the amount remaining, but I've never seen it that way. What's there is there, and what I collect is collected. I'm not trying to win, I'm just trying to have a good day. Nathaniel is also an active member of the Bayou Manshack Group, an organization created to preserve and restore that historic waterway. He participates in their waterway cleanup days as well, often the first to come the last to leave. In order to introduce others to the wonderful streams that meander through an urban neighborhood, Nathaniel regularly organizes paddling events, often loaning his boats to those who have none. He believes that if more people were aware of the natural beauty of the bayous right in their own backyards, they would do something to stop the amount of trash accumulating there. Like most true volunteers, Nathaniel isn't in for the personal recognition. Nevertheless, Nathaniel has been frequently featured on local Baton Rouge television news, in magazines, and in newspaper publications. Therefore, a grateful appreciation for his outstanding and tireless service to the cause of preserving and protecting the natural beauty of the bayous and streams in his part of Louisiana, we are proud to honor Nathaniel Plum with 2013 Volunteer Conservationist of the Year Award.